the love going, keep the energy going, keep the power going for the next several months until we win. Los Gibbs! Stop, go, boy! 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 This is so exciting. This is just extraordinary on a weekday in the middle of the day. Some people have taken time off work. I know that. Well, guess what? Take off more time from work because your vacations can be used protesting as opposed to nursing somebody sick at home when this stuff goes through. So for those who don't know me, I'm from Love Canal, which is in Niagara Falls, New York. And I believed in our government. I believed they would not do something wrong. 20,000 tons of chemicals were in the center of my community and they leaked out and the government said yes. And the industry said yes, there's 20,000 tons of chemicals in your backyard and yes, they leaked. And we said, we're sick. And they said, no, you're not. 20,000 tons, these are safe chemicals. They're absolutely safe. We believed if we showed them that we were sick, that Occidental Petroleum, major corporation, international, worldwide, made us sick, our government will do the right thing. And so we showed them. We did a health study and found 56% of our children, over half of the children born in our neighborhood, who were exposed to chemicals similar to the chemicals used in fracking, by the way. 56% of our children were born with birth defects. And we said we proved, we proved that we are sick. Over half of our children have three ears, double rows of teeth, extra fingers, extra toes, or were mentally retarded. And they said it was due to a random clustering of genetically defective people. today and they've given you a lot of the hard facts a lot of the information and everything they say is true I've been to Colorado to Pennsylvania to Wyoming to places all across this country where they're doing fracking where they're doing piping where they're doing all the nasty it's all true I'm not gonna tell you about facts facts will not win this fight Facts will only be facts, and for every fact you bring up, they will bring up... Yeah! Every fact you bring up, they'll find another reason, which is not Dominion, which is not fracking, which is not pipelines, which is not compression stations, which is not this and not that. The facts cannot win this fight. For 35 years, I've been across the country doing these fights. For 35 years, ladies and gentlemen, we have won more than we've lost. And we've won them not because we played nice. Everybody who plays nice is not likely to win. Polite people get poisoned. Polite people get polluted. Polite people lose. What we need to do is be in their face. It is people united who will not be defeated. It is not the facts. Mike told you to get in your smartphone and do a, a tweet to O'Malley. Well, don't do that. Don't just do that here. Every time your wife makes you angry, tweet O'Malley. Every time your husband makes you angry, Tweet O'Malley. Every time your teacher makes you angry or you think there's too much homework, tweet somebody. Don't kick the dog. Don't yell at the wife. Don't yell at the husband or the partner. We need to turn the heat up. It's been too quiet. And today is an extraordinary example of turning the heat up, but this is not enough. This is the beginning. Every single day you get up in the morning and you is before you go to bed at night, don't forget O'Malley. Don't forget your legislators. Don't forget your local government people. The only way this is going to change is when they hear millions and millions and millions and millions of voices. And when you do that, you will win.
So what I've learned in 35 years is the facts are critically important. The environmental studies are critically important. But if we're going to win this fight, and I truly believe we're going to win this fight, we need to stand together and we need to email, tweet, take your vacation days to the next rally, take your relatives with you, have a picnic in the park, and tweet O'Malley, tweet whoever you can think. Make it happen. People united will never be defeated. I've seen it, I've experienced it, so let's all join together. People united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. They gotta hear you three blocks away. Will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Thank you, people. and then we'll go on our way. We have a petition over here at the Sierra Club table for the Public Service Commission. If you haven't had a chance to sign the green card, you can sign this petition right over here. Again, if you want to celebrate with everybody with a beer and some food, we're going to be at Mex Restaurant at 34 Marketplace. Um, also, I just want to thank everybody who's come from New York. New Jersey, Virginia, West Virginia, the great free state of Maryland, the District of Columbia, and everywhere else. Pennsylvania is here in the house. Thank you so much. Go home. Go in peace. Let's go fight. Thank you very much.